Hi guys, my name is Fire Fire and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn where we're doing a series where we're going to be making modular bases or a modular base. And what I mean by that is a one district with loads of different modules like this that have their own sort of function. So in the last episode, we built our dam module and look at that. It looks majestic, doesn't it? It just absolutely looks majestic. And I got a comment, I got a comment to put a rooftop terrace in here. And you know what? I agree with that. So bam, there you go, done. And that actually gave me a bit of inspiration because we have empty spaces here. So let's get some more rooftop terraces. Why not? And that's that side done. Now all we need to do is do the next side. And I think this space is pretty much done and we can start getting on with what I actually want to do in this episode. And that is complete. So this just looks amazing. I love the way this looks. Look at it. Just look at it. Let's just take a second to appreciate. Anyways, let's go on to what we're doing in this episode. So over the next few episodes, actually, there's a few things I want to get done. I want to move this. So we want to get production out of the way and we want to put a wheat farm here so that we can start then putting houses around the outside and make it look pretty cool. And after we do houses, we'll move on to this side of the island in which we're going to be making aquatic farms and all that jazz. But yeah, we need to get rid of this because this is destroying the flow at the moment. This is really not looking nice. So the first thing we'll do, and I did some cleanup in the last, uh, between the episodes, just to start making things look a bit neater and giving us a bit more space to play with. So what we're gonna do is, let me just put this down so we can get these dynamites on here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move metal production over here because it makes sense, doesn't it? It makes, we're gonna make a small, module for metal production. And the reason being is because we've got scrap metal coming from here. So it's easy to connect them. And I'm thinking either over here or over here, we're going to make the other production. So we're going to make um, planks, cogs or gears and treated planks. Then we've got to make a small production for dynamite hmm hmm there's a lot there's quite a few things so maybe we can put a small dynamite production here because this works perfectly two uh, paper mills with three explosives they seem to work very very nicely together so that's all i really need so it's going to be a couple of small modules making um the stuff that we need so Let's get on with the dynamite section at first. So what do we need? We need to make sure we've got spacing. So it's one, two, three, four. So it's going to be here. So we can actually delete this. Let's go down here and let's get that. Then we can put some levees. That's a dam. There we go. And maybe either down here or down here. Now, I'm planning to put maybe three of these because we don't need that much, to be honest with you. Don't need that much. Um, and what I would like is maybe some power, some isolated power just for now. So how big is a, I don't even have metal do I? Hmm, 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 hmm. So I was thinking a metal platform. If I put that like that, how many of these can we get on top? Where are you? There we go. So it looks like we can do two nicely. If I put another metal platform, So I want storage. Hmm, we can do free and some storage. I am kind of liking this. 
and that'll be around that big which is pretty good because I can make it go in line with this because we need some flooring going downstairs I like that I like that so uh, let's get this designed okay so I've actually redesigned the whole thing <laughs> I redesigned the whole thing alright you put chairs here I didn't want chairs here I wanted beaver statues so let's let's walk through this it looks pretty cool though doesn't it it looks pretty damn cool so you might be wondering where's the storage well if we go underneath here we've got three storages here one two three they both transport or they, not both they all transport power which is amazing we've got two power engines here that go into there and this top line touches this so these all get powered from down there and it's all kind of like hidden i like how this is out so when this is spinning you're going to see like little steam engines turning here and it looks pretty damn cool doesn't it like got to admit it looks pretty cool i'm i'm like it i like it so <laughs> That is our metal production. We've got to let that build. That's going to take a bit of time. And we're not going to be using any metal beams to make platforms. So it shouldn't take as long as I expected. All we need is scrap metal at the moment because we need 30 scrap metal per of these, which we can get from this once we connect the path again. So that will be done. We can get rid of that and we're all happy. Let's stop that. I don't know why we actually got that on. So. Now that little module's done. Ooh, it's dynamite. Also cleared up this area while they were doing that. Let's think about other production. Now, now we are going to have a massive power uh, station here. So we will sort of lead some power in here somewhere and in other places. But I put these two engines one because it looks absolutely beautiful. And two, just in case I want to power it by itself, you know, just in case I want to disconnect the other power and just power this by itself let's see let's see how things go now we've got to think about um these ones now these ones are going to be a little bit different so we have dynamites dynamites and paper and i might want to put books with that as well because that would be that would be with all the sort of paper production so maybe we'll make that here okay it's not going to be as big i don't believe as the, the last one which is the basic materials how big are you yeah it's not that big it's going to be a little bit bigger than this but okay let's take a look so first thing first we need to mark out what we're doing let's actually delete this this and get all of this done right then we need to go four paces out so we are going one two three four and then just there did i do that right i did lovely and we'll make it in line with this actually yeah why not Bring it out about here. And how big was this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen spaces long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. But I think we're gonna need a little bit more. So we're gonna go to about sixteen. Or maybe we'll do the whole box here, like a slim box. And I say that because we may make it make some trees because trees are becoming a bit of a, a gate for us, a blockage. These trees run out pretty quick and I don't want to cut down these trees yet. And I don't want to cut down these trees yet. So we may put some trees down here so they can make their own paper quite easily and offset some of the strain on this. So let's get this um, marked out and let's see what we're playing with. All right, so that's marked out as best as I can right now. We've got quite a few projects going on, so I'm gonna let them finish the other projects, let them start clearing out this, 
and then you can start planning paper, dynamites and book production with a forestry underneath. So let's see how they're doing over here. They're doing alright, we've got a lot of wood, we've got a lot of planks. It shouldn't take extremely long. So anything that won't get done is most probably the scrap, anything that requires scrap metal or some sort of metal. So these two statues and these three won't get done straight away. But they'll get done eventually. So guys, I will see you in a blink of an eye. And there you have it, our new metal production module. Look at it, it looks majestic. Everything going up and down. We've got these two spinny thingies here. Love it, absolutely love it. We just need to get these done. That's nearly done actually. And that'll be all complete. I'm happy with that. We've got 3,000 storage underneath, 1,000 for scrap and 2,000 for metal blocks. So while I was waiting for that to get done, I decided to start strip mining this because I want to move my district down to the level of all the other modules because we need better pathing. As if you can see, if we go down here, the pathing kind of finishes. So I'm sure if we bring it down, it would give us a bit more room to play about with. So we're going to move that down at some point. So I'm getting that ready now. Now, 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 we've got to check what we're going to do with this bad boy. While they're building the last statue over there, we can start planning this out. Now, this is going to be for paper, explosives and books. Now, I'm thinking I do want to get an engine in there and I do want to get some trees. So we've got to think about how it's going to come down. How are we going to get down there? Now, I think I'm just going to do a stairway just like that right here. So if we do that and then that, that will let them get down into this area. Then we can put some path in. All right, so let's take a look at the engine first. Because we will need to make it in a place where it can reach the upper power. Now I'm going to do something similar like I did with this one over here and put storage underneath. I like hiding away the storage. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do this number. So that would get us storage. A decent amount of storage as well. So that would be for explosives. Oh, we may need a bit more storage to be honest with you. We may need a little bit more storage. Are they already building that? They are. Okay, that's fine. I wonder if I can get, if I can do something like this. Something like this. And that way we can have quite a bit of storage under here because we do have a lot of things getting produced here. Okay, so they can either go underneath here, this, or I can make a stairwell in the middle right here. And let them come down like so. I think that looks okay. I think I'm happy with that. We could then do the sort of same thing we did before, and that is put loads of platforms around here, like so. And then we can fill this up with this. And then we can actually put it across so that it looks like just a little square to go down. You don't really you don't really notice it. I like that. And then we get that. And that will also allow us to get power transmitted through. Now we need to connect. If I take this away. 
I can actually put power right along here. Oh, we actually need to delete this one. This one and this one. This one, this one, and this one. So we need to we need to make a stairwell. We need to make a stairwell to get to the second storage. For the second level storage. So we may need to use different types of planks. So if we use this this here. Yep, lovely. And we put hmm. Would this actually work? It may not work the way I want it to work. Because that's what I did. Oh, that's wrong. Well, that's what I did with the other one. But what we need to do is actually. make a way for them to get up here now we could do something like this and make it go underneath that stairwell but i don't know how that's gonna go actually that won't work either so i'm gonna put stairs here won't i and that's gonna block path in so what we may need to do is just make one staircase, maybe. One staircase for both. That could work if we delete that. We put that there. And put that like that. And just delete that. In fact, we can keep this there here. And do something like that. That should allow proper pathing. Yep, we'll put paths everywhere just to make sure they have the easiest route and location. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now let's see how it looks above. Okay. Then we just need to fill in the gaps here. And this one. And done. So that's power. Uh, connected and a way to get to the storage so now we need to think about engines i need to know how many how much power we're actually going to need first let's see if this is done oh this is done lovely 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 look at that it looks beautiful all right we can actually turn these off for now because that's just going to take a lot of power and a lot of trees that i don't want to use right now okay so let's take a look at first making paper. Now paper mill does one, two papers for one log every 1.6 hours. So one of these can pretty much do two printing presses. For explosives, it's a bit different. Two or one can do two. Two can do three, maybe even four. So I want to get maybe three printing press presses out. That's a lot of power. Not printing presses, uh, paper mills. Even that's a lot of power. That is absolutely a ridiculous amount of power. And I won't be able to get two right in there. Get the printing press. Okay, let's get two of them. Let's get explosives. And put it like that, and like that. And then paper mills. How are we gonna put that in here? I could actually do that. Yeah, I could actually do that. That would be not be too bad, actually. Because that can do two, and that can do two, pretty much. You know what, that's not too bad. No, I don't need to... Once we've used all the explosives, we're not going to be needing any more explosives, right? So it's not... 
I'm not too worried about the proficiency in producing explosives. When it comes down to print and press, we may need more. But let's see how the ending comes along and how forestry comes. Because we do want trees down here. That's something we definitely want. So we can literally put that there. And a forester here. Hmm, do I like that? I don't think I like that. Right, let's put the forester here. Then we can get half in going like this. And straight down the middle. Lovely. And then we can get loads of maple trees in here. All right. And let's make sure I pest maple, not chestnut trees this time. <laughs> um, there you go. All right. And then just some sort of designs. Well, there's not much space left, to be honest with you. So maybe I'll just put, what can I put, what can I put? A beaver statue somewhere. And then some bushes. Yeah, that's that's okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I think it'll look pretty nice with the trees inside. So that would be something to look forward to. So we've managed to make our meta production. We've set up um a system for paper explosives and books and unfortunately that is all i have time for today so in the next episode guys in the next episode we are going to be um mostly moving a lot of the stuff out of here we're gonna make our wood production area for planks and gears and treated planks and that's most likely going to be here so we've got a lot of exploding to do got a lot of exploding to do i don't know if i want to put it there i don't think i want to put it here I'm liking the idea down here. And then we can make our wheat area. We can finally clear up this area and make the wheat area. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.